got what's going on? It's Piathro here, and welcome back to an episode of La Bam. So, guys, yep, welcome back to the episode of La Bam. Before we get this video kicking off, I'm gonna get kicking. Um, I am actually kind of sick right now, at least I'm starting to get sick, and um, yeah, so if you guys hear me, uh, my voice getting a little raspy uh, throughout the video, just uh, just know that I'm, I'm sick, kind of, or at least getting there, um, as I stated before, but uh, yeah, just a heads up. So, guys. Uh, last episode on La Bam, uh, what did we do last episode, guys? We worked on that, I believe, and we also worked on the, um, what's it called, the area that we find Mr. Dark. Um, yeah, that's what we did last episode, but, um, I got some exciting stuff for today's episode, guys. First of all, um, people in the comments did suggest more names, um, if I could check real quick, um, if I could check really quick, give me a second. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Okay. Um, who was it? Uh, Jacob Clint. Thank you, Jacob. Um, he said, I think that a good name could be Mr. Lork with an O. So, like, the O with the uh, the two dots on top. So, it kind of looks like a like a guy being really surprised. Like, a, <gasps> you know, kind of like that. So, we might do that, Mr. Lork. Mr. Lork isn't a bad name either. Um, pretty much anything that has... Um, Weird alphabetized, is that the word? Um, weird letters, I guess, at least non-American letters, because um, obviously we don't use those uh, letters in America, but uh, where you could be from, uh, you know, you could use these letters. But um, names with uh, different letters could be a good idea. It actually definitely is a, a set theme for these names. But um, yeah, so Mr. Lork would be like L-O-R-K, except the O would have... Um, two dots on top of it, which would be really cool. So, um, we might do that, but uh, what I want to do today, guys, is um, I actually want to, um, I actually want to customize. I want to finally get an appearance for Mr. Lork slash Mr. Dark. So, um, I figured what we would do today is we would jump into a creative world in possibly 1.8. I think it has to be 1.8. And then pretty much just uh, keep on going back and forth and uh, trying out different uh, different looks for Mr. Lork slash Mr. Dark. So, um, I thought that might be a good idea. I have a specific website. I'll probably leave it in the description. Um, it's called MC Stacker Bot Bim Bimma. So, B I M B I M M A dot com. So, Bim Bimma. So, MC Stacker dot Bim Bimma dot com. It's just really good. Uh, command generator, uh, command generator website, which allows you to uh, stack multiple uh, I um entities on other entities. It's pretty cool. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'll be using that website. And uh, yeah, so uh, let me hop over to the creative world in 1.8, and I'll see you guys in just a second. All right, all righty, guys. So um, I'm in the creative world, and I have already brought up a first idea over uh, what it should be. So basically, um. This is my first suggestion. Um, it's pretty straightforward, not gonna lie. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, it's pretty much just uh, all black leather, uh, pumpkin head, and it's enchanted, so it kind of looks mystical. So um, basically, it doesn't look like much now, but um, if we do time sets, I think it's 5,000. No, one more. There we go. So we set that, and then we do slash um, effects. That's not effect. Um, effects. Uh, piano thrower, uh, blindness, nine 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 one. There we go. Um, so basically, this is what it's gonna look like, and uh, we'll pretty much be at a range like right here. So we'll pretty much be right, not right here, right there. So basically, um, it's gonna look pretty mystical if you guys ask me. But um, just a suggestion. Maybe it won't work out. Uh, we could try out some more. We definitely are though. Um, definitely gonna try out some more. And this is just a first suggestion. And, uh, yeah, so, um, I'm gonna quickly get some milk. Let's drink this. There we go. And, uh, so, I'm gonna work on a couple more ideas, and I'll get back to you in just a second. All right. All righty, guys. So, I got another one done. I know it doesn't look like much. Um, however, if I just do the effect thing, what is it? Um, effect piano through blindness. Yeah, that is it. Okay, so... There you go, there you have it. It's right there, so you'll barely have to see it. Actually, wait, you need to set the time to uh, night as well. That's not night, that's... Wait, time set? Yeah, that's right. What? Time, set, do we have to space it? There you go, okay. <clears throat> so it's night, 
Um, it'll pretty much be like that. Uh, I think that looks pretty cool. What it is basically is if we break off the uh, the barriers. So let's break these off and then set the uh, game mode to uh, what is it? Zero. Basically, it is a baby zombie on top, or an armor stand on top of a baby zombie. Will the zombie attack me? Yes, it will. So, um, basically, if you get too close to it, it will then attack you. I thought that was a pretty cool idea, uh, if you guys ask me. It's a little funky, um, just because it only turns in uh, 180 degrees. Um, but other than that, I think it works pretty well, uh, if you guys ask me. Let's quickly drink this. There you go. It's pretty mystical, if you guys ask me. So, um, there we go. Actually, let's do this. Let's just uh, peaceful it. There we go. And the armor stand is gone. And the armor stand is actually set so it is invulnerable. So it will never uh, be able to break. Which is kind of unfortunate, because I just realized that uh, we can never break it. Actually, I think we might be able to break it. Um, let's just uh, hide you. There you go. Stay there. Sleep tight. Okay. Um, where is it? Let's close this barrier back off. Uh, where is it? Right here. Yeah, there you go. And good. So, um, obviously, this is one suggestion. Oh, wait. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Wait, wait. One, two, and three. There you go. Close you off. And set the difficulty to uh, normal. Actually, set it to easy. Doesn't really matter. There you go. Set you and set you. Obviously, these are just still suggestions. Um, and so, I'm gonna work on like two more. And uh, I'll get back to you guys in just a second. All right. Holy crap, guys. This thing looks so cool. Oh, my God. <clears throat> That's insane. Look at this. Can we move that? Get off. Get off. That is sick, though. Like, his head is on fire. And he's riding a skeleton horse. And he's a freaking golem. That is sick. I'm really liking that. Actually, let's do time. Actually, it'll probably be up there. Let's see. Time, set, night. There we go. Actually, let's set it to uh, 5,000. There we go. No, don't hurt. Get off them. Okay, so, um, yeah, that looks sick. Um, one thing we can do, uh, game mode zero. Let's see if it does anything. Huh. No, oh, 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 okay, we're good, um, one sec, guys, one sec, sorry about that, guys, I needed to check the, uh, the sound to make sure that everything was right, okay, so, um, can we kill everything here, all right, everything seems to not be dead, actually, I think I just killed the blaze, yeah, so I killed the blaze, um, that was, that's what was giving him his, uh, fire skull, um, let's kill the golem real quick, um, if we can, and can we kill the horse, uh, I believe we can. Yes, we can. Okay. Um, let's get rid of everything else. So, um, we'll check that out in a second. Um, I got another one right here. Um, this one I actually do like a lot as well. Um, basically, um, first of all, let me uh, drink a potion of regeneration. That might work. There we go. Uh, drink that. Okay, so, um, basically this is a um, an endermite. Um, stacked at the very bottom, and then an Enderman in the middle, and at the very top you have an invisible Elder Guardian, which is a pretty cool concept. Um, let's just do slash game mode zero, and uh, break these out. Actually, let's break this first. Break you, and break you. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, see, this is what happens. He, uh, the, uh, the Elder Guardian kind of aims in on me right there. And it does a lot of damage. So basically, if it turns green, I need to go ahead and kill him as fast as I can before I die. Oh, man. Whew. Oh, I still died? Oh, the Endermite. Right. <clears throat> I need to make sure I have to kill the Endermite, too. Okay. We're learning. We're learning. Uh, game mode one. Let's fly back over to that area. Where was it? <clears throat> um, where was it? Over here? Yeah, it was over here. Um, so that was a good idea. Um, one other that we did check out. Uh, first of all, this is also broken too. Let's fill you in. There we go. Uh, close you off. Awesome. Okay. Um, should we collect all this stuff again? Uh, we might as well. There we go. And we're good. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and spawn everything again. There we go. Right there. Um, right there. And right there. And right here. 
I think this one looks the coolest out of all of them. This one looks insane. This one looks really cool. Um, first of all, let's let these things disappear. And I want to take a screenshot of this because that is super cool. Um, the horse, however, um, I do not see the horse moving for uh, some odd reason. No idea. Let me quickly take a picture right there. Boop. Awesome. Um, so, um, is there anything I did that would make the horse not be able to move? It doesn't look like I did anything that would um, make it so it couldn't move. So, I have no idea. Um, let's quickly get rid of everything. Maybe if I get a, what's it called? Um, a lead. We get the horse onto a lead. Can we pull the horse off? No, we can't. Um, it just doesn't want to move for some reason, which is weird. Hmm. Maybe we should uh, stack something else on top of it or below it um, so it looks like the horse is moving. Huh. Yeah, we might try that. One sec. Okay, let's try this out. There we go. Oh, I didn't make the inner mite invisible. However, um, let's see if this works. So, um, slash game mode zero. There we go. Come at me. Oh, wait. Go away. That is working out pretty well. Oh, um, what is going on? Oh, that's news to me. Okay. Um, apparently the, um, what's it called? What's that thing called? A blaze, right. Um, the blaze apparently wants to attack the iron golem for some reason. Uh, probably because it's hostile. Uh, I'm guessing. Let's quickly kill everything real quick. Kill the horse. Sorry, horse. Come on. There we go. And kill the blaze. There we go. And one tap. Okay. Um, as I was saying, um, one thing we need to do. Oh, I just, uh, shut up phone. I just deleted it. Um, it's right there, right? Was it? Yeah. Okay. Um, then we get a button, place it back. Um, so basically what we need to do is we need to make the Endermite invisible. So basically, um, if I had one, nine, 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 nine. Okay, so I just set the Endermite as invisible, and we need to make it so uh, the blaze does not attack the villager golem. So basically, um, what we might do is go to the blaze and set it for no AI. And basically, what that will do is basically it'll make it so um, it won't be able to shoot or do anything um, which is good but at the same time it's also bad uh, because we want it to be shooting fireballs as well um, maybe what we could do is we get a what's it called um actually let's try this out real quick game mode zero there we go it'll attack me there we go that's not looking bad guys that looks pretty good if you guys ask me um like the smoke trail in you know the Golem on top of the horse. I think it looks really cool if you guys ask me Um, anyway, we could just attack just keep on going. So basically any damage it does do damage to me um, Maybe I should make it so um, That the endermite can't attack me um, But we'll put a What's it? Oh, I can't see you. There you go. You're dead um, basically I make it so you can't attack me, but the um we make an Elder Guardian on top, so the Elder Guardian will shoot at me, hopefully, maybe. That might be a, not a bad idea. Let's quickly go game mode one again. Anyways, guys, um, let me quickly respawn everything. Um, this is obviously broken again. Let's fix you. There we go. Uh, let's place you. Boop. Um, boop. And boop. Oh, wait. Uh, okay. Wait, go back. Kill you again. Ah, keep on killing. There we go. And we're pretty much good. Done. Okay. Um, what we need to do is we need to change this up a bit. Let's turn, let's spawn this one in. Um, actually, are these are the same things. Oh, they are, aren't they? Okay. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, this is the one I was talking about right here. Because this one's not bad either. The uh, What's it called? The Guardian. The Guardian one isn't bad either. Um, I'm going to have to recreate that and uh, put everything back in their order. Uh, okay, guys. One second. One sec. All righty, guys. So I have everything set up. 
Um, these are basically all the- Get out of here, please. There we go. Um, so basically got everything set up. These are all of the, uh, the ideas we did today. As the sun is setting, it's beautiful. So, um, anyways, guys, I think we're almost out of time for this episode, guys. Uh, but, uh, I hope you guys did enjoy. Um, tell me which one you like the best in the comment section below. Um, which one you like the best, which one would work out. Um, it's probably going to be a mass majority of either that one or this one. That horse is dying. Don't know what's up with that. But, um, yeah, guys, actually, I'll link the, uh, the website in the uh, description or maybe you put a link maybe on the video, something like that. And what you guys can do is you guys can uh, send me a comment of uh, the commands for your own custom um, Mr. Lork slash Mr. Dark. Um, and then I'll, we'll, we might be able to uh, use it in the adventure map, which would be really cool. So, um, anyways, guys, hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you guys did, please give this video a thumbs up, as well as subscribe for more videos like this one. My name is Pianthor, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you later, guys, and peace.